Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mr. Doctor Who Fan 13 here, and as promised, it is now time for my modern Doctor Who DVD collection, the one you've all been waiting for. Now, we're gonna go in order here from series one all the way to the specials, the 2009 specials. I haven't got any Matt Smith ones yet, but I will be, like I said in my last update video, I will be starting getting Matt Smith ones for Christmas. Starting with complete fifth series. Alright, so we're gonna go in order here from series one, then two, then three, then four, then the specials. So uh yeah, so let's not waste any more time and get started out <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> with the, the series first series one DVD here we have here, and that is Doctor Who Series One Volume One. Which has Rose, The End of the World, and The Unquiet Dead. There. And also, of course, it's starring Christopher Eccleston and Billy Piper. As a Doctor and Rose. Yep, and episode pictures there. So, uh. Overall, this is a pretty decent DVD. I mean, Rose was an excellent comeback for Doctor Who. The End of the World was not that good. And The Unquiet Dead was decent. But, uh, yeah. Great comeback for Rose, at least. Rose is probably the best episode on here, even though I hate how bitchy and selfish Rose can be. The character, not the episode. But, uh, yeah. Next up. Excuse me. I probably should have blown my nose before this video, but. Yeah, here is this. Sorry. <coughs> Doctor Who Series 1 Volume 2. Containing Aliens of London, World War 3, and Dalek. Yes, the first ever episode to include the Daleks since Remembrance of the Daleks in 1988. But, uh, yeah. Starring Christopher Eccleston, Billy Piper and Bruno Langley. So, yeah. So, Aliens of London and World War Three. are uh, okay. Dalek is awesome! I think it's a tad overrated, I don't think it's the best Dark story ever, but it is brilliant, nonetheless. I love Dalek. Now, the reason I don't have the complete first series box set and I have these instead, DVDs, is because at the time, I was so naive, I didn't, I was, I didn't even know there was box sets for these, so I just got these on DVD. Yeah, that's how stupid I am. But anyway, now it's time for the first ever Doctor Who DVD I ever bought. Series 1, Volume 3. Containing four episodes instead of three this time. The Long Game, Father's Day, The Empty Child, <gasps> and The Doctor Dancers. But, um, yep. Uh, so... <gasps> Simon Pegg! Yes! Simon Pegg is awesome! I love his acting. Yeah, so this is starring Christopher Eccleston, Billy Piper, Bruno Langley, and John Barrow on this DVD. I know, it's, I know on the cast list it only says Christopher Eccleston and Billy Piper, but I like to say the name of the other companions as well. I really love the fact that Bruno Langley only lasted two episodes because he was... Already annoying in Dalek and he's getting even more annoying in the long game. No one likes Bruno Langley. I mean his character, Adam, in Doctor Who. So, I can see why they scrapped him after the second episode. I had no desire to have him back. So annoying. And now for... Volume 4. Containing one crap episode and one X 
Excellent two-part finale. Doctor Who Series 1 Volume 4, containing Boomtown, Bad Wolf, and The Parting of the Ways. Boomtown is crap. It's crap. It's not good at all. It's terrible. Bad Wolf and Parting of the Ways, however, mm, not too bad. Actually, not too bad. Starring Christopher Eccleston, Billy Piper, and John Barrowman. Sorry, I'm just checking the time. Yeah, we're five minutes in. Don't want to go over the 15 minute limit, of course. But, uh, yeah. So, if you want to get Bad Wolf and Parting of the Ways, I'd say. I mean, if you. I mean. If you just want those two episodes and Dalek, I'd actually say get the Doctor Who Dalek collection if you're not bothered about collecting the complete series, because I don't have the Dalek or Cyberman collection or any of that crap. I collect the series on DVD. But, um, yes. Alright, now this next box set. I was stupid enough to get rid of the outer cover. Yeah, it's Doctor Who, the complete second series, but there should be a Doctor and Rose there, but I got rid of the outer cover, because I don't know why. But yeah, there's a TARDIS floating right there. Time Vortex. I really love this cover. There's a box art. And yep, there's a Dalek and a Cyberman. Cyberman, there. And it should say Doctor, the complete second series on the top. I was like nine, ten years old at the time this came. I got this Christmas of 2006, I believe, not 2007. I was so naive and I decided to, you know what, the outer cover doesn't belong there, so I decided to get rid of it. And yeah. It includes uh, pictures of all the discs. So, discs one to three. Disc one includes The Christmas Invasion and New Earth. Disc two includes School Re Actually, no, I'll talk about it. So, uh, The Christmas Invasion, pretty good episode, actually. Really good Christmas special. And also a great introduction to David Tennant. And uh, New Earth. No, it's crap. Nothing good about it at all. But this too includes Tooth and Claw, School Reunion, The Girl in the Fireplace. Three, probably the three best episodes of Series 2. Actually, no. And Disc 3 includes... Two, probably your two best episodes of series two, and the worst. Well, sorry, the second worst. Rise of the Cybermen, The Age of Steel, and The Idiot's Lantern. Rise of the Cybermen and The Age of Steel is a brilliant two-part story, and great return to the Cybermen. The Idiot's Lantern, however, no, no, come on. It's rubbish. And this is what it looks like without a disc. Yep. It's the rise of the Cybermen and the Age of Steel. Right. Hope I didn't get dust on these discs. I hope they still work. But, uh, yeah. That's discs one to three of the complete second series. And we're at nine minutes. Good going. I think this is probably going to be the last... The last... DVD set we're gonna do for part one. Actually, no, we might do the complete third series as well, actually. But, uh, yes. So, here we have discs four, five, and six. So, first, The Impossible Planet and the Satan. In disc four includes The Impossible Planet, the Satan, Pit, and Love and Monsters. Three crap episodes. Well, I actually think 
From what I remember, The Impossible Planet and the Satan Pit were decent, but I haven't watched them in a long time. Love and Monsters. Everyone hates that. No one likes it. No one. If you do, something wrong with you. Love and Monsters was a rubbish episode. But I loved it when it first came out. Probably because it had a... Uh, Peter Kay in. Because <laughs> Peter Kay is an awesome comedian. What can I say? Disc 5 includes Fear Her, Army of, An Army of Ghosts and Doomsday. A decent episode, Fear Her, Army of Ghosts and Doomsday. While they were, it was a good finale, the Cybermen. Russell T. Davis, why on earth did you make the Cybermen look like weaklings in this one? You, you made them look all powerful in Rise of the Simon and the Age of Steel, but this, it made them look like pansies. I know Mr. Tyler said that already, but I have to agree with him. And disc six is just Doctor Who Confidential. Interesting. Actually, I think it's interesting. If you want to see behind the scenes of all the stories in this box set. And now a really cool display of the Cult of Scarrow and also all the Daleks in the Genesis Arc. I actually watched Army of Ghosts and Doomsday yesterday, by the way. Just <laughs> random fact of the day, I guess. Probably the worst series finale. Because out of all the modern ones, that is. I mean... They're all pretty good, they're all at least decent, but I don't know. So series two, this is probably the worst modern series. Because, and a crap series opener, and could, could have been way better series finale. Alright. Uh, we're at 12 minutes. I'm going to end things off here just in case, so, um, that does it for part one, guys, of Mr. Doctor Who Fan 13's modern Doctor Who DVD collection. In this video, we covered series one and series two. Join me next time, where we'll cover series three. And, and four, and possibly the specials. So, see ya.